All right, well, fans of the legendary singer are stunned and saddened tonight by the news of Whitney Houston's death. Yeah, we got the news about 4.45 over the last five hours or so. Many of her fans have been gathering in Hollywood to remember her. Dave Meekham joining us live now from Hollywood Boulevard. He's got fan reaction. Hello, Dave. Oh, hello. And we were reminded tonight that Whitney Houston was raised around a lot of gospel music. And that came by way of a fan and a friend who was at one of these pre Grammy parties around the corner. And he played a little Amazing Grace for us. Take a look. <laughs> Paved the way for so many R&B singers out there, and you know we love Whitney. And we lost people a really great, to, yeah, we lost a great one. People really need to realize things, and it's sad she's only 48. And a star who at times was referred to simply as the Voice, but along the boulevard, a star in her name during her lifetime was not to be. I actually, nobody really knew. Like so many, searching for that star that isn't there. She has just a captivating voice, man. So. Uh, that's what I remember most about her. And I had the opportunity to know her, and she she was a good person, good person, big heart, huge heart. I truly believe that the lights in LA will be a little dimmer tonight because of her death. And as far as that star, her team had the green light on that, just never set a date in Hollywood. Dave Meekham, KTLA 5 News. All right, Dave, thank you. For